because it told the sad tale of our response to people often fleeing terrible, terrible hardship. Something that we as a nation have no sympathy for, nor understanding of. And I'm not condemning my community because of that. You know, my biggest fear was that grey ute tonight, that I wasn't going to make it. No, the car wasn't going to make it. But actually, it's your car, so I wasn't really worried too much about it. You know, our fears are, will they have my brand of toothpaste out of the 47 brands of toothpaste that are on the shelf in Australia? Or the 57 or whatever. Yet here we have, because of our political situation and the narrowness and the nearness of every federal election that I've ever been in, and the closeness of it, that these people, unbeknownst to them, become a football in the contest. <coughs> it's hard enough to, for them to play football in the contest of life, which they're working through on a daily basis, and we're considering the contest of the political football. And it's going to take a very strong leader to turn and say enough is enough. I'm not opposed to them turning the votes back because the Australian people made it clear through their representations that's what they wanted to happen because they believed people losing their lives on those boats was unacceptable. <coughs> I believe the, what was put in place worked. You probably know I wasn't in favour of it at the time, but what has been put in place has worked. And the people that I'm dealing with recognise that that form of stopping the boats has worked, but that's done now and we can increase that. And we can leave that in place, but we don't need to continue on with what's happening on Manus and Nauru and detention centres as a whole. I tried to find a way through. Community detention, as we did in 2009, is a way through. And in fact, what we found was those in community detention are more relaxed and more likely to go back to home country if they're not a refugee in community detention than they would be held in confined uh, detention because they can be reasoned with by their own community as to their position and where the nation stands. To... I, I, I don't come to you with an answer that we can resolve this in a short time. But we have to face the fact that when the Americans take as many as they're going to take, I hope 1,250, and I hope New Zealand takes some if they're allowed to take them, we're going to have what I call uh, a residue. Then what do we do? Then what do we do? I understand that there is a view that, these, that, that many of them are not refugees and a lot of their compatriots have abused the system and once they have ga gained full resident status they start travelling back to their own company, country which made an embarrassment for all of us and ruined it for others and that's transferred right across our immigration processes now. And that's not fair. But at the same time, we have to address ourselves to the humanitarian issues that we're faced with now for a very few people. 